Facebook, and it's the holidays this week. That happened so quick. I can't believe it. We're alive that quick. No man, I gotta wait a few minutes or anything else. It must be because of the holidays. It's the Christmas miracle. I was able to do it. <laughs> that was a great intro, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everyone's like, what's going on? Another episode of Get Virtual. Here we are talking about all the great things going on in this area. Uh, some Christmas cheer we're going to spread. And Megan, where's your Christmas hat? You know what? I gave it to you. Did you? I did. I oh. mailed it to you. And I think you have it. Oh! That looks oh, good on you, Todd. Yeah. I, I know. You know, the good thing is it cuts that. down that glare that was coming off my head right here. So I'm liking it. It's a much, much softer light right now, huh? Don't you think? think you'll be much warmer, too. You tend not to wear a, a jacket in the wintertime, and you're probably one of the only human beings I know that does that. I do wear a jacket when I'm skiing, just not when I'm going in and out of buildings because I forget it. Now, I want to point out something for those people. I know that everyone out there has been following Getaway for years and years and years. But, you know, back in 2012, uh, you made me dress up as we've been we've been working together since 2012. Can you imagine? Actually, before that. But uh, you made me dress up in a Santa outfit once. And you know what the amazing thing was, is you actually borrowed that Santa suit from a fire department. I did. So you went the extra mile to be Santa for this shoot. I know. And then you made me climb <laughs> the tallest climbing wall in a Santa suit for our fall issue of, uh, it was called Reno Tower Magazine at the time, let's get away. Um, you know, and that's pretty amazing. We actually had four Santas. There's two down there. This one and there I am right there. And I want to point out, we did that shoot in August. Yeah. So I feel, I'm going to apologize to the fire department right now. I know they're watching it. Tahoe Douglas Fire Department, the best fire department in the world. I'm sorry your Santa suit is maybe a little bit sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, that was a really impressive shoot. And you did really, really well. And the fact that you were uh, wearing that suit, having to concentrate on climbing and have a smile on your face. I think you're the new Santa. You're you're the the Santa sit in, Todd. There you Congratulations. Go. It's set up. Well, you know we've got a lot of great Christmas cheer going out, and a lot of uh, giveaways and neat things happening, and uh, ways to win prizes and stuff. So let's bring on our first guest. Yes. Right now, let me go ahead and do this. I have to concentrate. <laughs> Well, I'll do the lead in. So today's show is all about go local and be merry. So it makes sense that we have you, Zach, from Tao Taint Chamber joining us to tell us about the new program that you launched to support local businesses, as well as a really great creative gift idea for individuals like myself who have not purchased a single gift yet. That's okay, we've got you covered. So no worries at all. We did this just for you, Megan. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for having me on. Uh, I want to get started with uh, golocaltahoe.com, uh, which we launched this year. We've been doing a Go Local Passport in years past uh, contest to just try and make sure that during the holiday seasons, people remember to be shopping local and spending local. Now, more than ever, it's so important that we keep these dollars within our community. And this is a fun contest so that every $25 you spend, you get entered to win prizes that we're giving away up to $500 in cash. Everybody needs cash right now, <laughs> no question. Um, so this has been ongoing. There's a ton of businesses you can participate at. All you have to do is log on to golocaltahoe.com and there is a place right there under the passport for you to be able to submit any money that you're spending locally. Um, it's just our small way to make sure that we're reminding folks to keep that money local. And then uh, does this tie into the gift cards as well that you have going on? Do you have it that doesn't. But uh, that's kind of why we brought on the gift card thing. Um, I think that as we went back into the shutdown, everybody was trying to come up with yet another creative way to keep dollars local and to make sure that we're supporting these businesses that have been struggling all year long. And so we launched something that's the Go Local gift card. Uh, and we have close to 30 participating businesses right now. And that's growing more and more every single day, which is fantastic. Uh, and right now for every $25 gift card that you buy, you actually get an extra 10 bucks to spend for yourself. So Megan, maybe you should do that. And then you can actually uh, give yourself some money and get your own present while you're shopping for all your friends. Yeah, absolutely. Now tell me a little bit more about 
how this program came about, and, and then um, a little bit more about the extended period of it. Because what I love most about this gift card program is that I can buy it as an e-gift card, and then the receiver can use it whenever they want or whenever yeah. things start opening again. You know, I think that that's a really great dynamic. So when people feel comfortable, they can use it. Exactly. And that's the best part about it is so it's ongoing. The contest for the extra 10 bucks lasts until January 1st, but this is a year round program. And that's kind of something that we realized as well. Um, it's a really great way for you to not know exactly where you want to shop or where you want to buy for somebody else. And you can give them a gift of being able, able to shop it over 30 places. Um, and they can use it a little bit at each place, however they want to break it down. Uh, so it really is a great way to kind of divide that out and make sure we're supporting. And I also want to talk about a little bit that might be people kind of not realizing. You're talking about this extra ten dollars the chamber's putting in it. This is almost like a, um, you know, an extra, I don't know, stimulus check from the chamber. <laughs> Make you uh, spend extra money. So you spend twenty five, you get an extra ten. So that's like almost a fifty percent boost in your spending power. Exactly. We are literally paying you to shop local. That's what we need. That's what we want. Uh, support these folks. And even if you're ordering takeout, doing DoorDash, all of those things can work for this. So make sure that you're spending that and, and logging it as well for the contest until the first. Wow. So now where can people find out more information of like, A, where people are, what businesses are participating? Uh, B, um, and I also heard you say people can still sign up. So you might still have other restaurants watching right now saying, hey, I want to be part of this or yeah. shops, not just restaurants, right? No, not at all. And that's actually part of the reason we started it is restaurants were getting a lot of support because clearly they need it more than ever right now. But we did see that there are a lot of other businesses and other sectors that need that support. Um, so this is open to retail, to lodging. But we're really not trying to define it. We want people to spend money with a local business. We don't care what sector you're in. Um, if you can do it, that's fantastic. And if you can run a MasterCard, even better. That's how it works. It's super simple. Nice. So tell me, okay, once you buy the gift card, um, electronically, the receiver will get a code or how, yeah. how can they actually redeem it? I guess is my next so question. So it's super simple. You'll get emailed uh, a picture of what looks like an actual credit card. Uh, it has the credit card numbers, your zip code, your expiration date, everything that people might need to be able to use it either online or in store. Uh, so we try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, if, if a business can run a MasterCard, they can be a part of this organization. Excellent. That's amazing. You guys at the chamber have been really inventive to, to bring the holiday spirit to the community. And so with this program, above and beyond other things you're doing, you know, give a shout out to your Light Up South Lake uh, campaign as well, because I believe that just finished. And that was such a huge attraction for so many people and families during your period um, where you, you know, <laughs> help the community light up. It really was. And we were we were so happy to see the support that we got back from the community by doing this. At the team level, we were just, we needed some extra cheer after this year. Um, and we knew the community did too. And so this was, it was supposed to be a one and done thing when we talked about it the first time and there's no way we're not doing it again yet next year. Um, I know that some of the businesses that won Coldwater, Cork and more uh, really went all out. And so it was really awesome to pat them on the back, but I got to give a shout out to the residents uh, because those houses were impressive. And it was a blast driving around and just kind of seeing the effort that everybody put into it this year just to give back to the community and make sure we're doing something to keep each other happy and in the best spirits we can at such a nice time wow yeah it's uh, amazing i know i've driven around a little bit i haven't actually haven't went on the total tour because you've got a map on your website too so people want to go look and find this right Yes, yeah, and it's all tied through Google Maps, so it's super easy to go through the entire thing. You can split it up over a few days, and even though it ended over the weekend, I know folks are keeping them up through the holidays as well, so definitely get out there and see it, and now you have some winners to look at too, so you know like the best of the best if you need to refine on where to go. Awesome. Now, where can people find out more information about this? Website, Facebook, uh, Smoke Signals, what do they do? <laughs> definitely Smoke Signals, uh, tahochamber.org, and then golocaltahoe.com. All of the information for both the passports, the gift cards, and, and all of our regular programming are on those two sites, as well as our social media. So make sure you're following the Go Local Facebook page, as well as our normal Tahoe Chamber page, because all of that stuff's really important. We're trying to make sure everybody knows about it. Great job. No, That's my Christmas gifts off my list. Perfect. And you're shopping <laughs> local, so we love it. 
Yeah. Oh, awesome. And I before and before we bring on our next guest, I want to give you a big shout out to the chamber, uh, to the chamber. You guys have been uh, extremely supportive on so many different levels uh, throughout the pandemic, whether it be information on in the beginning, like how to navigate things from the idle loan to PPP to you name it. I was watching webinars almost weekly to find out information about stuff. So a great way to pivot, way to be there and be a great resource for the community. And, uh, you know, I think the community is better because the chamber's around for sure. Thank you. We really appreciate that. And honestly, we were happy to rise to the occasion. It's what we do for this community. And so we were able to have be the spot that people needed. So we're really glad to be able to do that. Awesome. Well, let's bring on our next guest. I don't know if you know Heidi from Carson Valley. She's with the Carson Valley Visitor Authority and visit Carson Valley. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Hi. Doing good. How are you guys? Oh, were those wild horses running in the background? They were, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Her screensaver. She did. She's thinking, where that? What are you talking about? She's like, oh, I wait. forgot. Wait, I was really focused on the mute button. I forgot what you're looking at. Yes, those are wild horses. <laughs> I think in a storm, if I recall correctly. There's a storm. many beautiful things in Carson Valley. Yes. Uh, all right. Well. Oh. We're gonna say goodbye to you and we're gonna to talk to Heidi. She's got another little kind of trail as well that might overlap some of what you're doing. So you might wanna stay on and actually watch and find out some more information as well. Awesome, awesome. thanks guys. Bye Zach, thank you. Oh, he's gonna be winning. So, so Heidi, there he is. Yeah. talking with Zach about oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Their, their Go Local program and stuff like that, but you've got something you guys have been doing down there which is really quite unique in your Sierra Safely Trail. How Absolutely, and I think there's a lot of overlap. So I think you, your uh, viewers and, and guests and you guys as well could download, or not even download, you just have to sign up for the sierrasafely.com experience trail. And while you're using your gift card to go and visit all these various um, local merchants, you can do some check-ins. Some of them are on our trail. Um, and just because they're not on our trail doesn't mean we don't want you to visit them. It just means, you know, people were busy. <laughs> we're all busy. So please still visit everybody and, uh, you know, spend those dollars locally. And I, I definitely going to start following um, Tahoe Go. Is that what it was? Go local Tahoe. Tahoe. Go local. Yeah. Okay. Go local Tahoe. I will do that. Cause you I know think what I love? about some of the overlap is that this is like a mathematical equation now. And I guarantee Todd, if you spent enough time, you could see which merchants parallel and which ones where you could buy a gift certificate, earn $10 back, also win a prize from Sierra Safely Trail, as well as possibly from the Tahoe Chamber. I mean, within a matter of a couple of weeks, that could be a really fun goal to try and visit as many as you can, as often as you can, and then come out on the top. <laughs> I hear a challenge. That, that I'm challenging strange. you, Todd. I think we could do this together and really like, you I, know, I, it, it would be I like, like a tax show. refund, right? You can't afford not to spend all this money and go I to all these places. It. I get yeah. it. It's totally. Now, um, your guys is, let's talk a little bit about the Sierra Safety Trail and how it works. So um, basically you sign up, you get, a, 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 it's not even an app that comes on your phone. It's just kind of a, a GPS thing that allows you to check in. So it doesn't take up a bunch of memory in your phone. Yep. Um, you go to the website. And then um, it has a geolocation. So when you get near a place, whether it's a, just picking up to go or whatever, mm -hmm. you check in. Now, you check into a lot of places. It's almost, it's a contest to see how many can check in. And with your go local money, it makes it even better. Um, but you can win prizes. Now you, you can, you yeah. Can, and it's, we made it really easy. Hats? I wish. <laughs> you could turn this into a hat. Oh, find a way like for that. you to make yeah we'll figure yes. it out <laughs> i'm sure it's possible um no you all you have to do is sign up um it sends you texts when you've earned your little prize um and it's really easy that first the first time you sign up and the first time you check in like you said you could do curbside you could do drive through whatever however it works for you um but Unfortunately for Megan, you do have to be in the near vicinity of the location in order to get your things. But yeah, you can. Soon. Yes, I, but, I have a lot of catch up to do. 
You do. And but as as with the chamber, this one is going on all year too. So you've got plenty of time. Um, and so you can go back and, you know, if you're visiting us or visiting the area, you can, or, you know, you just maybe doing a day trip from Reno, you can't really visit. It's just not possible. So you got to come back and it's a great reason to come back. But yeah, you just, you sign up, it sends you text reminders when you won something where it sends you exactly where to go to get it. Um, there's a couple different locations down here in the Valley. And um, I think there's going to be one or two up in Tahoe pretty soon from what I understand. So yeah, you get this red button pusher, you get this also custom neck gaiter, and you also get entered in to win a grand prize, which is a couple days in Tahoe and a couple days in Carson Valley and a bunch of fun stuff, meals and things like that. So we don't even know what the prize is yet. <laughs> it's it's going to be as big of a surprise to somebody who wins as it is to us. So we're, we're collecting it. It just keeps getting bigger. Now, I think another underlying issue that people have got to kind of, you know, realize about this, and this is just a great program because, you know, it really is, obviously, we all know that Nevada is, you know, kind of dependent on the tourist industry. And right now, that's a little bit difficult, especially to do it safely. And that's one thing that this campaign is about is making sure that people know how to visit these areas safely. And mm -hmm. the businesses also have are very safe businesses to meet to to visit so i mean a great program to kind of push that out there and especially right now for more you know locals and visiting your own backyard anybody can be a tourist there's no definition of tourists that you know you got to drive you could you could walk from your house to the hard rock cafe and be a tourist and experience something you haven't experienced before and so um that's what we're trying to push to is you know visit your own backyard there's probably a places on the Sierra Safely Trail or on the Go Tahoe Trail that you forgot about or maybe never even knew about. And so now you'll get to experience something different as if you're just discovering it for the first time because you're new. So we that's in our visitor center, we get people who are local and grew up here for a generation. They come in and I just want to see what I forgot about. You know, maybe there's a new trail or something. We have trailheads. I mean, you don't even have to visit a business. You can go and go hiking and, wow. you know, social distance with your family and get a check-in or I think there's four or five on there. So we're trying to make it so that it's fun, so that it's doable and so that you want to do it. And if you check into five places, you get this metal cup. Wow. <laughs> I like I, it. I need a set of six. So here we go. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, you're gonna get, gotta get six of your friends to join with you on the on the trail and the the go local go local thing. So yeah, that's awesome. You can do it. I have faith. You know what I love most? Oh, sorry, Todd. Um, no, go ahead. Real quick is with the businesses that I have visited in Carson Valley and Lake Tahoe, whether it be to go, whether it be curbside pickup, whether it be with limited hours. The, the care and effort these business owners have taken to keep you feeling safe, to keep you feeling comfortable and seeing their eyes light up because you obviously can't see their face necessarily because it's under a mask um, is so worth the visit above and beyond everything else because you truly know that you are making a direct positive impact. It's true, it really is true. Yeah, you just, you can hear a smile in someone's voice, right? And so you go there and, you know, I heard something the other day. It was like, maybe just randomly thank someone for wearing a mask. You know, people get yelled at for wearing masks all the time. Let's just spread a little thank you and a little, you know, whatever. It is what it is. We're just doing it now. And so just make, make someone's day. Spread a little kindness. I like it. Kindness is good. That's for sure. That's something that we all need right now. Now, um, if people want to find out more information, so one for your Sarah Safely, I believe you're still accepting signups for businesses if they want to be part of this. So, oh, absolutely. We we want everybody to be part of it for sure. Okay. So yeah. how would a how would a business sign up would be the first thing, and then secondly, how would a person sign up to? Um, if a business wanted to sign up, they could connect with. Um, myself and I work at Visit Carson Valley. So Heidi at visitcarsonvalley.org. Um, or, you know, you could um, hop on over to sierrasafely.com 
and shoot us an email from there and and somebody will get it and I'll find you <laughs> I'm pretty easy to I'm pretty easy to find and I don't give up easy so uh, I will uh I'll make sure that you get on for sure or they could even leave a message and you guys could forward it to me that might be the easiest thing that's no problem there and how does how does a, a consumer or someone get onto this trail so they can participate CRSafely.com and then you click on the experience trail and you just sign up. It's as easy as putting in your uh, cell phone number and your email address just to make sure you're a person. Love it. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, this makes thanks me so much, awesome. Heidi. Yeah, thank you. Have a great <laughs> holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that sort of stuff. We don't see you before then. And, uh, you know, I know I'm going to be visiting a lot of these places on the trail. That's for sure. Awesome. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy holidays. Feliz <laughs> Navidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Now, that's going to be stuck in my head for in the next couple of days, but that's okay because there's going to be lots of other Christmas carols going around, um, you know, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> A special thank out, thank you and shout out to Sierra Safely for sponsoring the show. Uh, it really is a neat little program if you want to click into it. Uh, not only does it give you a great place, something to do to check in these different places, uh, it does point out all these different businesses and it has a lot of really good content to find out what they're doing and what, what's about and all that stuff. And you win prizes. <laughs> Between the two guests that we had on our show today, you can win a lot of things. And Todd, a gift card's coming your way. I like it. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> I already know what it is. Uh, with that, I don't think we have a get virtual next week. Um, but, you know, everyone have a great holiday. Uh, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. You know, uh, 2020 is almost done. Not to say that everything's going to end when 2020 ends, but you know what? I think 2021 is going to be a much better year. So thanks. See you in the year. <laughs> Talk to you later.